my name is Tamara Chambers. And I am Cody Melcher. And this is Tamara's Never Seen. And Cody's also never seen <laughs> too as well, I guess. <laughs> Today we are going to watch Green Lantern. Oh man, I wish I had one of those like party, like the so I can do it real slowly. Just You are a very big fan of Green Lantern, but we're both very big DC Marvel fans. Yeah. And have purposefully ignored <laughs> this film. I was a big Green Lantern fan when I was younger, but Alan Scott is what got me into the Green Lanterns, and Alan Scott is where it remains. I have contradictory opinions to like mm -hmm. the masses, so there's a chance I'll like this, you know, because I don't like actual Hal Jordan, so maybe I'll like this Hal Jordan. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. But uh, I'm doubtful. <laughs> Will you snap with me? Yeah, of course. On three. One, two, three. actually happening action superhero movie I've ever seen. We were halfway through the movie and stuff still really hadn't happened. No. We had one scare on a plane with a character we didn't care about. We were three quarters before like they even, the villain and hero even met, mm -hmm. like at all. Also, ultra like powerful, all powerful, like world ending in the comics, yeah. this villain is. And then here, he has his one training moment and is able to completely destroy him yeah. oh, by well, himself. Oh, well, I mean, world ending in this as well and took five seconds. I, I truly do not like Ryan Reynolds in this. I don't think that, I don't, I don't like anyone in this. And they got <laughs> such good people for this film. I, I really like a lot of the actors that are in this and I didn't enjoy anyone. It drove Ike insane. <laughs> Ike, he Ike, needs comfort. Ike no longer knows how to exist as a cat anymore. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of like messages about this, but Hal Jordan is boring. And this is what happens when you have a boring character as the main character, the only, interesting thing about Hal Jordan is the thing they retconned in the comics and then in, and then based this entire movie on, which was that he went crazy because of grief and loss and thought he could change and fix the world and it drove him mad. That was the only interesting thing ever about Hal Jordan. And no, just no, I'm no, I'm done. I'm, and I'm so mad, I was such a, <laughs> I was such a DC fanboy growing up, yep. and I still kind of am, but they, they ruined the, some, the flames on the side of my face. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know. You told me about him in the comics being like, you know, I just make guns and I'm a cop. Yeah, he's a space cop. And, and so here, he starts off, he's obviously hurt by his father. He's making Deadpool <laughs> light, 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 light jokes. He's hurt by his father, do you mean because when his father's bone splintered yeah, into him? Yeah, hurt him. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, his foot. Oh, it hit me in the face. In my eye. Oh, God. <laughs> he's traumatized by his father. That they It's what a trope that is also. But they visit it in such a funny way. Yeah. It's this one flashback while he's on a flying mission because he's a pilot. And one flashback of him like seeing his dad go off and be a pilot, and he's like, Dad, are you scared? And he's like, It's my job not to be, son. <laughs> Toxic masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, and then his dad like crashes, and he's like running up to the plane because that's somehow allowed. You can't run up to planes. That's not how that works. He <laughs> runs up to the plane, and he's like, Dad, Dad. And before he can get there, the plane explodes, and it's so dramatic. It's such a stupid stupid flashback and of course he's just plagued by this this torment of his life and and so he's like this guy who doesn't play by the rules and he's like most likely gonna kill himself in a plane accident and then for some reason gets the ring we've all seen the bachelor sometimes the person that shouldn't get the ring gets the ring God damn it. i will say i'm gonna this is gonna be a point of ire for a lot of people uh, but my one point uh, of, uh, of uh, 
uh, defense of the movie. My only point of defense of the movie, or at least defense of the criticism of the movie. Okay. Is I get, I think it was not done well, but I get where they were coming from with computer generating the costume, the uniform. Oh. I actually tell me I, why. Because it's generated by the ring. It's it's a it's it's a light construct, just like everything else is. So a little bit of lack of reality of the costume makes a little bit of sense. More so than anything else. Um, and more so than anything else in this movie. But the idea that the, the costume, the uniform, isn't exactly real, yeah. actually makes some sense. Yeah, 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 okay. Do you wanna know what my least favorite line was? I, of course I do. Thank you. It was, I used to sleep in, and then I turned 11. <laughs> I remember that. I had blacked it out. I blacked out. So what happened? What happened? I blacked out every moment of the movie as it progressed. So I. So I'm surprised I can talk about it this much because I don't remember any of it. What a jerk thing to say. Yeah. It's like those people. It's like those. I was just having this conversation. It's like when you're like, man, I'm gonna indulge tomorrow and I'm gonna sleep in. And those people that wake up at six every morning and love to shove it in your face are like, I'm sleeping in too until eight a.m. <laughs> so naughty. And it's like. You. <laughs> You're such a jerk. Stop me making me feel bad. You know that that's not sleeping in. Yes. It is a, a marvel that. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh! uh. It is a marvel that DC gets amazing women to play Amanda. No, oh, speaking of Amanda, you want to know what's a real marvel? Oh, wow, this guy's been infected by an alien. Let's just all hang out with him for a while with no, no necessary, like, let's put him in quarantine. Wear, somebody wear a glove for God's His sake. His head is four times his it, normal size. He just claimed he's psychic. Him. He just claims that he's psychic and he knows all of your memories. Put on a glove. Yeah. Wear a condom. I don't care. Just do something more than just act normally. The idea of quarantining yourself is that you also just wear a condom. It's so funny to me. Like you have the hazmat suit on, but you also have a condom on. You, you can never be too safe. First one is my friend Bree, uh -huh. who I love dearly, and I've never just Bree Larson. Yeah, huh? I've never disagreed with her ever mm -hmm. until now. Oh God, oh Brie, oh. You'll somehow still have fun with it because your heart is so pure. Not that pure, Brie! It will make you feel sorry for Ryan as he tries his best in a crappy movie. No. I don't think he tried his best. I don't think he did. I really don't, I mean, uh, uh, that's so mean to say and what a shitty thing to say no. about another actor. Cause like, I bet, he, I mean, of course he's trying and like it's a big action movie, like superhero movie. They was, He's been doing great forever. I'm sure he was very excited, but like, I don't know. I didn't see any spark, anything good from Ryan at all. I like Ryan Reynolds. I'm sure he's a very nice guy. He, he's just, he's coasting on Ryan Reynolds in this movie. He's not trying to really do anything else. And I'm sorry, like, I will, I will say, I don't think he tried. And I'm not saying he could have seen the line saved the movie, but just watching it, there's no, there's no like, yeah. I'm gonna try to make the best out of a bad situation happening. Well, it deserves every joke Deadpool slash Ryan Reynolds makes about it. Yes. yes. With some more work, it could have been a decent movie. No. I really think it could have, so maybe that's where my pureness is coming from. There it is. <laughs> There's really, the optimism. I, I see like the bones of something that could have been fun at least. It's just a lazy attempt from beginning to end, and I'm mad. And they, he, Green Lantern, as a concept, deserves more. People, humanity deserves <laughs> more. That was beautiful. My God, that was beautiful. Are you gonna be okay? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is why I avoided this movie. I am forever ruined. Thank you for you joining owe me, me. You owe me so much Thank you. for this for this horror. <laughs> The Boss Baby, the Emoji Movie, and this. <laughs> the I, 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 I get, the, I get Rumpelstiltskin credit on your firstborn child. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you all next week. Follow Cody on all of his social medias, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. In brightest day, in blackest night, go f yourself. Thank <laughs> you.